Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at hard engineering strategies used to manage the coastline. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, Coastal Landscapes. Many coastlines are protected by hard engineering. This is when structures are built to either stop flooding, to reduce erosion or to do both. Hard engineering strategies are expensive, so are only used in areas where the land is deemed economically valuable, such as tourist resorts. These methods are popular with home and business owners as they offer effective protection from the sea. But they are also often seen as a bit of an eyesore as they don't look particularly natural. Hard engineering strategies include sea walls, groins, rock armour and gabions. Let's start off by thinking about sea walls. Sea walls are barriers made of concrete that stop the waves from reaching the land behind. They are sometimes recurved in design, like on the screen, which enables them to reflect the waves rather than the waves overtopping, which can happen with straight sea walls. The curved face of the sea wall reflects the energy from the wave back to the sea which hinders the next wave, reducing its energy and its ability to erode. However, the recurve design sometimes means that the waves come crashing back down to the beach, which causes damage. Sea walls often have steps at their base to increase stability. There are lots of advantages to sea walls. They make home and business owners feel secure. They are made of concrete so last for many decades, and they often have promenades on top so people can walk along them. But there are also several disadvantages. They restrict access to the beach, particularly for those with restricted mobilities. High waves can overtop them. They are very expensive, between £5,000 and £10,000 per metre. Because they are made of concrete, they do not blend into their natural surroundings and they can destroy coastal habitats. Let's move on to groins. Groins are fence-like structures that are built at right angles to the coastline and they are usually spaced about 50 metres apart. They are often made from wood but they can be made from concrete or piles of rock which do last longer. The purpose of groins is to trap the material transported by longshore drift to hold the beach in place. This is important for two reasons. Firstly, the larger the beach, the more effective it is at absorbing the wave's energy, so less erosion will take place. And secondly, wide beaches are good for tourism, so they are a valuable asset for the local economy. The advantages of groin are that they are cheaper than many other defences, between £5,000 and £10,000 each. If they are well maintained, they will last a long time, and they allow a large beach to build up, attracting more tourism and reducing erosion. And this has a positive multiplier effect for the local economy. But there are numerous disadvantages. Groins restrict access along the beach, acting as a barrier. They also become underwater obstructions when the tide is in, so they can be dangerous to swimmers and other users. They are also dangerous to climb on, particularly as they are quite slippery. And they restrict the movement of sediment along the coastline, which is their primary purpose. However, this can starve beaches further along the coast, increasing their rates of erosion. They can also be very ineffective in storm conditions. And wooden groins rot quickly without regular maintenance. Finally, many of us consider them to be unattractive. The third hard engineering strategy that we are going to look at is rock armour. Rock armour consists of huge boulders, usually made out of granite, that are placed at the base of a cliff. These boulders are heavy enough not to be moved by waves. They reduce the erosive power of the waves by forcing the water to enter all the little gaps between the boulders, which dissipates their energy. So by the time they reach the actual cliff face, they are very weak. This means they cause far less scouring of the base. They are also sometimes used at the base of a seawall for reinforcement. Rock armour is also known as riprap. There are lots of advantages to using rock armour. It is cheaper than some other methods. 
costing between £1,000 and £3,000 per metre. It is quicker and easier to build than other methods. It's also a long lasting solution as the boulders are made out of granite so they will not erode. And it can be used to reinforce other sea defences which increases their longevity. But of course there are disadvantages. Rock armour can cause access issues on the beach and it is dangerous to climb on as it can be slippery. Rock armour can also disturb habitats when being installed and they are considered ugly by many people as the rocks generally don't blend in with the natural environment because they are made out of granite, which usually is not the same as the local geology. Rocks can also move in storm conditions, and finally litter becomes trapped in the gaps between the rocks, which can attract vermin such as rats. Our final hard engineering strategy is gabions. These are steel wire cages that are filled with stones and placed at the back of a beach. They work in a similar way to rock armour as the water enters a cage and starts to go between the pebbles, dissipating the wave's energy so less erosion occurs. Gabions are often placed at the cliff base and planted with vegetation to make the cliff more stable, reducing the risk of a landslide. The advantages of gabions are that they are very cheap compared to other methods as they usually use local pebbles. This makes them around less than £250 per metre. They are also very quick and easy to construct and will last around 20 years. Because they use local materials, they blend into their surroundings better than many other strategies. And over time, they can be colonised by vegetation, which makes them blend in even further. However, the disadvantages are that they are weaker than other strategies, so they need regular maintenance. And once they have established vegetation on them, they can be expensive and complex to repair. This means that they are used mainly on sandy beaches, as they wouldn't withstand shingle being hurled at them. They are also quite dangerous if damaged because they've got sharp wire mesh and this can be hazardous to seabirds. And obviously damaged gabions are not very attractive. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on hard engineering strategies used to manage the coastline. Thank you for watching.